Barbara Linda need to reach me? I'm at the Pine Valley Hospital, room 220. Are you okay? Uh, it's, uh, yeah, just some tests. You know, it's nothing serious. Oh, okay. I didn't want you to worry if you couldn't reach me at home. Oh, well, that's, that's very considerate. You'll inform Belinda. Uh, of course I will. Good. Um, well, I won't keep you. Um, goodbye. And the winner is? Adam's back in the hospital. Psych ward? Room 220. Neurology, I think. Transplanting the Abbey normal brain, doubtless. No, uh, more tests. Serious? Well, he's had a couple of episodes, so it could be. Anyway, I don't know why we're talking about it. Can't discuss it with you. Listen, I need the format on my desk in an hour, Tad. You better give me two, Wilder. I'm a slow dresser. <laughs> I also want a chance to find my thief. Hey, hey, listen, listen, listen. This, 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 this necklace, this boy. Why would this boy try to take this necklace from your jacket? That's exactly what I want to know. Hey, wait, come here. Come here. What are you doing? Nothing. You're obsessing over bad jewelry. Sort of. Well, let me ask you a question. Do you still believe in love? Oh. No, okay. The time no, 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 let me rephrase it. Okay, all right, listen. Have you ever seen anyone who, at first glance, just... just completely took your breath away? expert. You know, lust at first sight, fact or fiction. Forget I mentioned it, it's crazy. Crazier than me and Adam? Too close to call. Okay, tell me about the girl, the, the phantom, the ghost, and the gold necklace. She's not a ghost. She was real. As real as you and me, as real as... As, as... as a trashy novel? Oh, Our God. hero. He sees his vision on a cold and wintry oh, oh, night. Oh, oh, what fun it is to laugh. <laughs> Care to do some work? No, I'm the boss. I want to play. I want to talk. Play pull rank on me. I'm pulling rank it's on not you. not fair. I want you to tell me all about your enchantress. I told you all I know, which is nothing. You know, that's why I put the ad in the paper. All I know is I came home and found a woman on my terrace the night of not the ball, again. okay? I went after her. She dropped the necklace. What was she doing there in the first place? Stealing lawn furniture. How should I know? Oh, is she pretty? You think I'd act like this over a beagle? I just wish I knew what she was doing. Maybe she came to take you to her mothership. Shut up. You could be our guest. Actually, talk show host, victim of alien abduction. I, I am not psychotic. <laughs> okay? She was there. She was real. I know. I got the lumps to prove it. When I went after her, I fell over my son's You hit body. your head? Yeah. So? No. She okay. was there. Just tell me why you put an ad. Because I just... I want to know who she is, that's all. Well, who's the boy? I mean, a friend? A boyfriend? What? Probably your brother. You wish. I want to find out. How, Sherlock? 
I'm working on it. I'll tell you what. Why don't you work on Monday's lineup? Why don't you pawn the necklace, pocket the cash, and leave the romance to the experts? I mean, some people were just not made for happily ever after, Sad. expert on romance you should write a book five minute marriage well you know from now on it's all out avoidance really yes you sure yes mm. glad to hear it that include x's x's o's and you know everything in between good for you just out of curiosity what do you consider a stranger on a terrace and in between why do i ask listen i may be chasing after a ghost but as far as i'm concerned it's nowhere near as pathetic as running after the past I am not. You are, too. You should have seen your face when you found out Adam was on the phone. I had no face. You had a face. No, I didn't. With bushy with big bug eyes going... Bug eyes? Hey, is that in you? I did not do that. I did not do you that. You did, too. Come on, admit yeah. it. Just you and me in this office, all right? Adam Chandler still drives you crazy. In your dreams. No, baby, in your dreams, and that's the problem. His name is written across your, your heart. <laughs> You're branded. I am not. You are, too. I am not. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You are some guy who's just chasing after this phantom. A gorgeous phantom. Some, some chick who won't even come near you, uh, I might yes, add. Yes, monsieur, but the fun is in the chase. Yeah, you know while you keep this you. little necklace hostage, it's like, hmm. As long as it takes, sister. You are so definitely twisted. Yeah. Uh, coming from you, Mrs. Chandler, that's a real compliment. <laughs> Joy. Did he have another stroke? No, but we're trying to prevent anything that could trigger another episode. You see, he's he's having hallucinations, and it's gotten very agitated. What, my father's having hallucinations? What did he say he saw? Well, I'm not certain, but you should speak to Dr. Shimatori, I'm sure. What's that? It's coming from his father's room. What's going on? Tell me what you're feeling. My heart. Your heart? My heart. Okay. It's something through my chest. Okay, try to breathe. Dad, hold on. Hold on. This isn't here now. Okay, Dad. Okay, I've got I feel like I'm going to explode. Don't do this to me. Hold on. Hold on, Dad. What's going on here? He's spiking. Heart is racing. He's feeling good. Give me a bag of nitroprusite stat. Okay, we're going to need to get him back in the bed. Okay, let's lift him up on my count. Ready? One, two, three. All right, over to the bed. There you go. Okay. Four. No, no, five. Failed marriages. Oh, I can't. And you're giving me grief on my one. Yes, I, I am. One. I come to you with an open heart. I share intimate details of a, of a chance encounter. Oh. And what do I get, huh? Seems a combination you know. of Dr. Root, Dear Abby, hands. and Tina Turner. I'll make you a deal. From here on out, you stay out of my karma. I'll stay out of yours. Fine, right? deal. No. No, no I no, mean no. it. You heard it here first. No, I Damn, mean it. Damn, I'm good. I just made this station twice as profitable, boss lady. Boss lady? Or do you prefer chief? Chief, huh? No, no, you can call me Ms. Colby. 
What? You actually hired this person? On the spot. Yeah. Oh! So what do you think? Uh, I didn't exactly double profits, but I got two major accounts here. Check out the rate. 25% higher than what you quoted. I, uh, they didn't freak? I just told them that's the way it was these days. That's all I said. I boosted ad rates, and I knew the clients would still buy. I knew it. Less than 48 hours. Well, um, I mean, this really makes a difference. Yeah, you know that Cutting Edge show? That, like, total honey. <laughs> the <laughs> Cutting Edge? You hired him onto the Cutting Edge? Wait a sec, he's not co-hosting. He's in sales. Don is retiring I expect to in be a consulted month. on anything that concerns my show. Move aside, Beaver. As executive producer, I get final say over anything Wait, that concerns producer, the Wait, as producer, I get to say everything. Omnipotence noted. Right, I could hire a three-legged blind chicken to bring in revenue, and I could do it. And I don't understand why we have to keep going over this. Oh, we have and to over go over, over this many over times again. Things for you to understand, I am not going to lie down and be steamrolled on my show. Pre-check pressure. Two forty over one fifty. He's going to stroke out here. He needs pressers. Nurse, let me see his car meds. Twelve lead EKG stat and get a foley. And I want to check his magnesium on. potassium levels now. Minutes ago. Does he look fine? What BP criteria did you have him on? It looks like a reaction to something. Really, honey, you really shouldn't be in here. Can you come outside with me? No, no, I can't leave him like this. Look, you can really help your dad out by giving the doctor some room to work, okay? Come on, honey. Come on. Come on. What's the matter with him? Well, we, we don't know for sure. What do you mean you don't know? Where's Dr. Shimatori? He's been paged and he is on his way, okay? Now, I want you to know that Dr. Hayward is very good. And Jake's in there, don't forget, okay? And we're gonna do everything we can. Now, in the meantime, can you call someone who can be with you? Can you do that? Okay, and I'm gonna check on Dr. Shimatori. I'll see how much longer he's gonna be, and then I gotta get back in there. Okay? Please try not to worry. It's gonna be okay. Help him, Allie. I'll do my best, okay? All right, hang in there. Mateo, thank God. Listen, can you come right away? What's wrong? It's my father. It's really bad. Um, I'm at the hospital. Can you please come? Haley, are you, are you sure? Mateo, it's serious. Please. I'll I'm be, scared. I'll be right there. Um, excuse me. Did Mr. Chandler have a heart attack? No. Yeah. Uh, have you heard anything from Dr. Shimatori? Okay, the minute he arrives, send him up here right away, okay? Thanks. But he, he didn't suffer some kind of shock, did he? I mean, is that what caused this? I can't say. Um, who are you? Are you a family member or a friend or... <sighs> Haley, are you okay? What? What's the word? Well, he's gonna be here any minute, and I gotta get back in there. All right, can you hang in there a little longer? Yeah. All right. <laughs> 